Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a lot of cool stuff pertaining to the Halloween DLC. One of them is the Blackout that looks to be coming to Los Santos with this update. There's been a little bit more information released on that, some specifics on when and how that blackout kind of happens. Also some more details regarding the vehicles and maybe a possible explanation for why the double clutch feature was removed from Grand Theft Auto Online. Lots of cool stuff we're gonna be talking about in this video. No sense in wasting any more time. Let's get it started. All right, so I know everyone is hyped for this Halloween DLC, and one of the cool things that was said to be coming is a blackout. However, there is some slightly disappointing information regarding that coming from FunMW2. It looks as if the blackout isn't for GTA Online free mode. It's only gonna be featured for Halloween jobs, and there's only one Halloween job so far, and it's the Slasher Adversary Mode, which is a really cool adversary mode where apparently you can like only see if you use the flashlight, the weapon that comes with this update, there isn't a whole lot of information on that adversary mode, but from what I've heard and from what I've seen, it is gonna be one of like, it, it's gonna literally be like it's out of a straight up scary movie uh, where you've got like a flashlight and that's your only uh, weapon of visibility and your only uh, way to see in the pitch black darkness. But it doesn't look as if Los Santos is gonna be turned into permanent darkness. Uh, it looks as if it might be only uh, for the Halloween jobs. I'm still holding out hope that on Halloween night they do a blackout like where it's in free mode. That would be one of the coolest things ever, but for now it looks as if it's just gonna be coming to that one featured Halloween job, which is the slasher adversary mode. And big thanks to Crew Boss, who actually got some video footage of what it's gonna look like. Now keep in mind, it might look a little bit different based on your either PC settings or what console you're on, but let's just say it is very, very dark. It's hard for me to even see this gameplay, so I'm hoping you guys will be able to as well. It's gonna be very dark. Uh, here's some of the pictures as well of what it looks like, some crazy like Vice City light style going on in the background. It's gonna be pretty cool. I I'm very excited for this update, uh, and especially for the blackout if it looks as cool as this. So it's definitely enticed me to play the slasher adversary mode because that's one of the things that I, I really haven't gotten into, adversary mode. Modes, uh, but if the slasher is awesome and if it has a blackout, that's definitely something I'm going to be interested in. All right, up next, I've got some information regarding the descriptions that's going to be for the two new vehicles. Now, this may or may not interest you, but I always love how Rockstar describes the vehicles when they're on websites. So this one is for the Frankenstage. It says, fit of its old world charm, the steering linkage may be from 1910, but the engine has just enough horsepower to tear itself and you to pieces at the first bump in the road. So I thought that was pretty funny. We have the Lurcher's description, uh, don't take chances when when it comes to your legacy, exercise your demise, and turn your death into a statement that nobody wants to hear about. So once again, that has absolutely no effect on the car itself, but it looks like that's what's gonna be the description on the website. Uh, and it's always funny how Rockstar throws in puns like that. The Lurcher and the Frankenstein are definitely some of the coolest vehicles that I'm looking forward to. Cannot wait till this comes out and I can get my hands on it. And Krubos also has a possible explanation for why the double clutch feature was removed. That was actually something we talked about a few days ago that was affecting the racing and drifting community. And I tried to give my best simple description of what that was. You guys definitely help me out in the comments section down below. But he thinks it's because uh, of the new lowriders that were added. He states the reason double clutch was removed from GTA 5 was because the handling of the lowriders conflicted with the transmission somehow. Now I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but I can only imagine that the lowriders themselves definitely had something to do with it because that's one of the only new variables that was really added with this update was the lowrider cars, how they performed with the jumps and whatnot. So who knows if that was the case. Uh, once again, there has been no official announcement from Rockstar. Uh, when there is, I will definitely keep you guys updated. But for now, it's anyone's guess is why that was removed. I'm sure Rockstar has their reasoning. Uh, and I'm sure if they do listen to the community, which they definitely do, uh, that this will be put back into the game. It's probably just a matter of coding and working around the lowrider. So we just have to be patient. And who knows, whenever this new update does come out, it might be fixed. So they might already be aware of it and just haven't really announced their plans of trying to fix it. 
But anyways, that's all the information that I'm going to be talking about to you guys today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. The blackout looks awesome. I'm excited for the new vehicles and hopefully this new double clutch thing is fixed soon. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be awesome. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.